gonna completely change how you price your handmade items. It completely removes the guesswork when pricing handmade items, not only saving you time, but also reducing that common feeling of overwhelm we usually get when pricing our items. Pricing your handmade items can be fair for both you and your customer, and I cannot wait to walk you through the pricing calculator in this video so you can start selling with some more confidence. Hey, 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 makers! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cameron, and I run the crochet boutique called Cameron's Cute Creations. Here on YouTube, I love helping fellow handmade business owners like you make more money selling at craft shows, and in today's video, Video, I'm actually giving you a guide, a walkthrough on exactly how to use a new product that I'm selling on my website. It is the pricing calculator. This thing is so awesome. I can't wait to show you all the features. So before you click out of this video, you're like, ah, she's just going to sell me her calculator. I want to invite you to just see if this would be a good fit for you. I encourage you to just watch the video. You may have already bought the calculator and you just want to know some of the features of the calculator. So um, if you've already bought it, thank you. I hope you love it. And um, I'm going to walk you through some of the awesome features and how you can use it in your business in this video. It is only $14, but it is on a limited time sale as I release this video because I'm just now launching it. So it will be less than $10 here for a couple days. If you're watching this video in the future, again, it's only 14 bucks. Like, that's literally a few chai tea lattes and this thing is gonna help you make more money for more chai tea lattes and more yarn. So hey, this is something I would have totally loved to have when I first started my business. And even now it is so useful to have because it helps me save so much time when coming up with my prices and also helps me with that confidence, knowing that I'm actually making enough for my time and it really helps you sell. Like it really helps you have that, like that confidence behind selling. So as you can tell, I'm really excited about this. So let's just get into walking through how to actually use the price calculator. So just so we're on the same page, I am screen recording on my computer right now. I'm also filming myself. So I'm walking through, you might not be able to see my computer in this video the whole time, but if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at right now. So I'm going to walk through the calculator with you. Pretty pumped about this, by the way, if you can't tell already. Um, so I guess let's just get on started. So it says start here. This is your first tab. And I'm going to start by just giving you a little overview of what the calculator looks like. So this is the first tab. And then you've got the calculator tab, the competitor research tab, product log and materials tab. By the way, this is a Google sheet. So you do need a Google account to access the calculator, but is 100% free to get a Google account. If you don't already have one, I specifically chose to do a Google sheets and not Excel because you can actually access this on your iPhone, on your tablet, wherever you are on the go. So if you're at an actual event or market and you need to check your prices or need to double check something with the calculator, it can be right there in your pocket with you all the time. I use it all the time on the go. So super great and really, really handy to have that. Start here. This is your main page. It says, thank you so much for your purchase. Enjoy the pricing or enjoy pricing with your pricing calculator. Here is where you can access the video and PDF guides. So super funny. Uh, the video is going to be linked here. This video is going to be linked here. So that's where that's going to go. But hey, it's I'm filming it. So it's not linked yet, but it will be for you. Anyways, that's where that's going to go. And then the PDF guide, this is going to be the guide, which you can just click on. It's going to open up in a new tab. And this is the PDF guide that's going to walk you through how to actually use the calculator. So that is super awesome. A really great resource to refer back to as you're using the calculator um, and just knowing all the features and all the terminology I use and all the things. The PDF guide is going to be your best friend for walking through all of that. So that is all here on your main page. What we're going to do is we are actually going to go over to the the calculator tab. I'm going to give you just a general walkthrough of what everything looks like and what it does, all the features. There's just so much to go over. I'm so excited, but please don't feel overwhelmed by this. There's a lot of features, but you get to pick and choose which ones fit best for you and your business. I actually don't use every single feature I have on the calculator. I just have them there for people who want to use every single feature. So I will definitely walk you through how I like to use the calculator. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go here to zoom and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to go to 75. So you can do that on your desktop so that you can look at everything more as a whole. So here is the actual calculator page. This is where you're going to probably be spending most of your time pricing your handmade items. So up here in the upper left, we start with our material costs. 
Then we go down, we've got craft show costs, and then we have website costs. Now I have these broken up into two different sections because as you can see over here on the right, at the end, it's going to break down your craft show price versus your website price. These are gonna be different prices because there's different costs going into these items. So, um, you know, website fees are going to be more on Etsy and also maybe the shipping on top of that is going to be different than a market. So that's why I have it broken down separately down here, which is so, so helpful if you sell online and at markets. But if you just sell on one or the other, then it's super helpful for that too, because it will just break it down separately. It's really nice to actually separate those out because again, the fees and the prices are going to be a little bit different. And scrolling back up here, we have a section for labor costs. This is us paying ourselves for our time. And then we have other costs. So any other costs you want to include in your prices, we can add in this section. Now over here in the upper right area, I'm going to zoom back in so we can see it a little bit better. This is the overview section. So we can put in a product name, a SKU number for that product. And this is where we can play around with an additional markup on top of our item, a discount. If we want to try to discount it and see if we'd still make profit from it. That's super important. Raise your hand if you just are a sucker for giving out discounts to little kids who like pull out their little wallet and they're like counting out their little dollar bills and their change. And you're like, oh my gosh, okay, of course I'm going to give you a little discount. Like you're literally paying with your tiny little like cute pink wallet. I mean, I'm not going to charge you full price, but at the same time, this is my business. I want to make sure I'm still making money. So it's nice to know how much you can actually discount an item before even going to an event because then you know how much you can actually discount it without losing money on that product so that feature is super nice um and then the sales tax section super awesome if you want to start playing around with trying to include some of that in your pricing um it's there if you want to use it competitor average we're going to get to this in a little bit but this is super cool it actually links to a different page where we do competitor research and it'll link back here so super awesome um yeah so i'm going to zoom back out now, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but you might want to actually copy this calculator one more time and have your own master calculator. You can really customize this and make it your own. So that is kind of the overview of the first section. I'm going to walk you through it a bit more here in a minute, but I want to just give you a quick overview of the other tabs that I have on the calculator. So down here, you can get to your other tabs. There's competitor research. So competitor research, this is the page that is actually linked to the calculator and it will show up an average right here. So this is where the average will go. So this is where we can do some competitor research, which is super nice because we can see what our competitors are charging and make sure our prices are still competitive. So we can go in, we can add links to the things, the price, any additional notes there. Again, I'm going to walk you through all of this here in a minute. But um, giving you a quick overview, it's going to average out your price and then you can refer back to it on the calculator page. Next tab over is the product log. So let's go over there. This is so helpful for keeping organized in your handmade business because I know you probably have a million different items that you're trying to sell and so many different prices and price points and all the things. I don't know about you, but I know for sure once I like price something and I break it down, I tend to like actually forget some of the details and then I go back to like adjust the price and then I'm like, wait a second. How long did that actually take me to make? And then I'm like, how much were the actual materials? Then I have to completely start from scratch. So this is really nice if you want to adjust prices in the future and you want all that information in one place. It's also really nice when you're at a market and you kind of want to refer back to like some additional notes you can make on here. So maybe don't discount under 15% on this product or don't go below $5 off on this product or you're going to lose money. Um, that's really nice to have. So you can refer to it when you need to. This is just honestly going to keep everything so much more organized all in one place for you. So this section is super great for that. Also, we can see exactly how much we're profiting on each item. So after we do a market or after we sell on Etsy, we can go back here and actually calculate, okay, well, I sold this item, but this is how much I'm actually making. 
Next tab over is the materials tab. This is where you can store all of the materials you like to use in your handmade business. Again, it's super nice to stay really organized and you can refer back to it, making pricing a lot more smooth. So what I like to do is store all of my materials that I tend to use. So, uh, you know, an example would be Bernat blanket yarn. We would put in the price, quantity, supplier, where we get it, and any additional notes on that product. This makes pricing a lot easier. We can go back and actually see how much we spent on those items and it'll be easier to calculate back into the material cost. Now, this calculator is awesome because it does a ton of the math for you. So if you're not big on math like me, I'm not like a huge math whiz. My husband is and that's why he helped me set up this calculator. But I did come up with all the layout and I did come up with um, the formulas as well. He just helped me program all of it. So shout out to Peyton for helping me with the calculator. Now I want to walk you through actually how to use it because it may feel a little bit overwhelming at first, but I promise you this thing is so awesome. It makes things so much easier easier for you when coming up with prices. There's a lot of plug and play options. So if you want to adjust things and uh, play around with your markup or your time wage and all the things like you can do so much with this so much quicker than if you were trying to calculate it all out on your Hello Kitty calculator. Um, where is my Hello Kitty calculator? I don't even need it anymore because I got my pricing calculator. <laughs> so for this video, let's price one of these little bees together. And I'm going to walk you through exactly how to use the calculator and how I'll come up with my price for a little bee. So you're going to need to do some things before plugging in into the calculator. Um, like here in material costs, we need to know how much materials we actually use. I have a whole nother video on how to determine your material costs. This is going to do all the calculations for you here, but you do need to weigh how much yarn you're using, how much polyfill, and just how much of each item, like weigh it and make sure you know how much is actually going into it. You don't need to know the price. You need to know the price of what you paid for the actual yarn. So it's going to be easier to explain just to walk you through here. So we're going to put Bernat blanket. Then you would put in how much you paid for that skein of yarn. And then you are going to put for item size. That's how many grams are included in that ball of yarn. So there are 300 grams and we only need 28 grams for this project. So we plug that in there and just, just wait for this, wait for this. Boom just calculates it for you. It's so nice, so quick. So that's what you want to do with all your materials. Now, this doesn't just work with yarn. So if you have other materials, like let's just say polyfill, um, I'm just going to put in, no, oh, I think I bought it for more. Again, you would go back and check how much you actually paid for these things. But for the purpose of this video, let's just say it was about 12 99 for the polyfill. Now we're going to go by ounces because that makes the most sense with the polyfill. Uh, we got 10 ounces for that much and we only need 0.2 for our project. So that is going to just calculate everything for you again. And guess what it does down here at the bottom? It adds it all up for you. So again, just super quick, making it super easy to plug and play options here as well. Maybe if you got this yarn on a good sale. Okay, well, let's see if it was $7.99, how much would it actually cost? Boom, there you go. Literally just so, so easy. Like this is just the beginning, you guys. I'm so excited to show you everything um, in this calculator. Let's go back to it being full price. So this is what the total of the material cost is going to be for this little B. Now I'm going to go move down to craft show costs. Okay, so I do actually tag these items. So I do put a pin on there and I do put tags on there. So let's put in our tags. And I'm doing some estimations here. Maybe I spent $45 on like 500 tags and I only need one tag. So that's nine cents per tag. So we can actually go in here and play around with the numbers and everything too. So maybe you go back and look and it was actually $80 for 500 of them and you only need one, it's going to calculate all that for you. So super, super easy and super simple. I'm going to go in and do my pin. I'm pretty sure this was like, what was it like $15 or something for like 500 of them? It was pretty cheap and we only need one pin. So that is going to calculate that for us as well. Again, totals it up for us. So this is going to be a craft show cost because I'm going to be tagging all of my bees at the craft show. Something else that you could add to craft show costs is you could totally add like the bag that you put the product in. 
So you could say I spent $60 on 120 of them and I'm gonna use one. Now, not every person takes a bag. So here's where it gets a little bit tricky um, because not every person takes a bag. You can kind of try to average out about how many people take a bag. Sometimes when people take a bag, they're buying multiple items too. So I sometimes, if I'm calculating these things, I'm like, okay, well only like half the people take a bag and usually they have multiple things in there. So sometimes I just add a fraction of that bag because not every person's gonna take a bag. Now that's getting a little bit more advanced and sometimes I look at the number, I'm like, oh, 13 cents. Okay, maybe I don't need to include that necessarily in here and I can include that a different way. Um, but again, it just depends on what your goals are and how specific you wanna get. So do what works for you. This calculator is meant to be customizable for you. I want you to get the most out of it and use it the best that fits you. So do whatever you wanna do, include how many costs you wanna include, meal costs, gas costs, things like that. Those are a little bit trickier to include you. So that's what I'm gonna show you in a little bit is how I apply that markup and how it covers some of those other expenses. But again, you can get as detailed as you can. Each category has a little miscellaneous section so you can add additional costs if you need to or if you want to. Next, we're gonna move on to card fees. These are gonna be the fees that your card takes from you. So it's really tricky to include this transaction fee in our price because it actually takes out of that total price. So it's really tricky how we have it set up here is this actually takes out of your end profit so at the end this will take out of it it's not really including it in the cost it's going to take that out of your final profit so that's how the the card fees and, and also the website fees that's how that section works so um Square is 2.9%. I already have it in there. And then 0.25. Now this is the transaction fee per product. Now, by the way, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but you can use this calculator for any currency. As you can see, there's no dollar sign or anything on any of the numbers. I have the dollar sign up here, but you could change that with, to whatever currency you're using. Um, just because it's a different currency doesn't mean it's going to switch up anything else. It's just going to break them down in your currency. So whatever it is. Now we're going to go down to booth fee. The booth fee section is a little bit more complicated because how are we supposed to actually include the booth fee in our prices? Now, what I like to do is I average about how many items I sell at each market I do. And I also average about how much the cost of the booth fee is at each market I do. You can be a little more specific if you're pricing products for an upcoming show, but it makes more sense for me to just take averages because then I don't have to switch my prices for each and every show. So let's just say the average booth fee is $60 and I sell about $100 per event. Then it's going to calculate for me. I want to add 60 cents to each product to cover those expenses, those booth fee expenses. Again, completely optional. Use it if you want. If it's overcomplicating it or if you're just getting started, you don't have to. Um, and you can cover some of these additional costs with your markup at the end as well. So it just depends on how you want to do it. It's there for you if you want to. I usually do actually use the booth fee section because that does make sense for me. Um, as you can see here, the craft show costs are only connected to the craft show price and those costs don't connect down to the website price and vice versa. The website costs won't affect your craft show price. They will only affect your website price. So it's doing it separately, but everything else stays the same. So you don't have to do it like completely separate time. Just these two sections are broken up separately. So what we're gonna do for a website cost is let's just write like a shipping box that we might need to use. Maybe it was $12 and I got 20 of them in that package and I only need the one box to ship that item. Okay, so it's 60 cents for that item. Now I don't do a lot of website stuff, but there is room for you to add some more of those specific website costs. So maybe we're actually using a tag over there too. So what we can do is we can actually select these cells, copy them and just stick them down over here. Super simple, super easy. It adds that into my website costs as well. Now website fees, those are usually gonna be a bit more than your card fees. So depending on the percentage, I don't know what Etsy even is anymore. I'm not on Etsy anymore, but this calculator does work for Etsy. You just wanna make sure you look up how much the transaction fee, that percentage fee is total. So I think it is about 10%. And then maybe an additional 25 cents per transaction as well. And that's going to get you your website costs. 
Um, and this is going to change as our price goes up, by the way. So this is kind of a little bit of a tricky one, again, because it takes it off after you make your profit, um, but still important to include all of those so you know where you're actually profiting in your business. So shipping, this is if you want to include shipping in your price. So let's just say it's $7 to ship this B. So that is going to also add to your product. As you can see here, it's saying we are like not making money, which is totally fine because we haven't actually like done our labor costs or any of that yet. So it's all acting like these numbers are all wacky right now. That's all good. We will just keep continuing on and trust me, it'll all work itself out. Okay. So I'm going to go up here to labor costs. Now this is us actually paying ourselves for our time. So let's just say crocheting like this little bee. How long did this little bee take me? Now I don't actually remember because I've already priced this bee, but let's just say it takes 25 minutes. Um, so that would be in the time section. We would just hit 25. This is going by minutes, by the way. So make sure if it takes longer than an hour that you're not just putting in one hour, that's going to mess it up. So make sure you go by minutes in this section and then hourly wage. Um, that's how much we want to make an hour. And this is fun because we can play around with this a little bit too. So let's just put $15 an hour for now. And that looks like we want to include $6 and 25 cents in to our costs. Now that is going to look like a profit down here for you. Okay. So that's actually going to not show up as a cost necessarily, but that is actually money you're making for your time. So that is what is going to start to show up down here. That's why it looks like we're actually making some profits now because our time is going in there and we're we're paying ourselves for our time. Now you could also, if you're doing maybe a custom order, you could be like, this was a custom order B. It, I, I need to charge a little bit more for my time. So maybe I want to actually make $20 an hour. And since it was a custom order, it actually took me like 35 minutes to make. And then it will just do all the calculations for you and adjust all of those um, prices. So super, super helpful. Um, and really again, just super easy, super quick. So it's going to tell me right here, this is how much we're actually making for our time. If we're paying ourselves $15 an hour, and this takes us 25 minutes to make, I should mention that everything gray in this calculator, see, these are all like gray. That is just things that are going to be calculating for you. You never have to go in and actually put in um, your stuff. If you click on it, it's actually going to come up with this formula. So you don't even want to click on it. Um, that is what's already set up for you. So you don't even need to adjust any of these prices. That's why there's a little miscellaneous. That is where you can go in and add any additional costs. But other than that, um, all the all these things are just doing it for you. So you don't even have to worry about it. Those are all formulas that we have set up to do all the calculations for you. That's why it is so, so quick. So what we're going to do now is come up with some other costs. Now, this could be a ton of other things. So how I like to include other costs is honestly just covering them in my markup. It just makes things a lot easier. But if you have anything additionally you want to get more specific and include, this is your section to do so. Um, there's no calculations here. So you would want to calculate things yourself. So maybe you have uh, paying for your website is like $300 a year. So you divide that by 12 and then you divide that by how many items you actually sell a month on average. And that would be a price that you could include that would kind of cover that at that expense. But again, I like to cover these expenses in the profit markup section. So I'll show you that here. That's a, that's the markup section, but like just for this video, let's have an other cost on here. So I'm trying to think what I would even include up here. I mean, you could include your gas for the year or something, but it would be like, I don't know, maybe three cents per item. So that is something you can totally add if you want to, and you feel comfortable, like maybe it is more like 10 cents or whatever. Um, when you calculate all of that out. So this is, if you want to get more advanced that this option, this other cost section is totally there for you. Again, I don't actually use this section as much because I actually use the markup section to cover some of those additional costs that are a little bit harder to pinpoint how much to actually add per item. I do that with a percentage markup that actually helps me make more money and profits in my business, but also cover those additional costs. Um, so we're going to keep that here just because it's going to be fun to see it in the breakdown, but, um, this is totally optional up to you. You add whatever you want to in this other cost section. Now, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to put in B and the SKU number, which I think is 116. And here is where we can play around with some really fun stuff. So right now, 
without a markup, which you do not need to add a markup if you don't feel comfortable adding an additional markup. But like I said, this is going to help cover those other expenses in your business. Plus, it's also going to help you make additional profits beyond just your time crocheting that item because you're spending time setting up at a craft show and selling at a craft show and also social media marketing and all these other things you do in your business. And you deserve to make money for that too. That's where your markup is going to help you make more money on top of just that time you put into making that product, if that makes sense. So that is what the markup section is for. Now, I personally like to try to mark up 20%. If I can mark up 20%, I feel pretty good. Anything more than that is awesome. Uh, 10%, I try not to go lower than a 10% markup or I start almost losing money because of those other costs in my business. This is gonna look different for everybody depending on what your goals are in your business and also all your expenses and how much time you actually wanna make outside of just crocheting your items. But for me, I'm just gonna try it 20% markup and let's see what the breakdown is looking like down here. So it looks like after I added my 20% markup, by the way, again, if you didn't want to add a markup, this is what it would be. I would want to sell it for $8.50 and I would be making enough for my time making that product. But with the markup, which I recommend doing and playing around with, it's going to help cover those other expenses and help you make more profits in your business. I added that markup of 20%. And now it's asking me to sell it for $10.22. The really awesome part is it tells you right here, okay, if you're selling it for $10.22, you're actually taking home $7.41 per time you sell it. That is like what you get out of this deal, okay? So $7.41. So that is what we actually get for selling the product. So that is really great to know. We can play around here, which is super awesome. Or we can do a 10% markup. We could try a 50% markup, see what that looks like. And if we're doing a 50% markup, we would be selling it at $12.78 and we would be making $9.89 each time it sells. So nice to know actually how much you're making and taking home. And look at this, look how awesome this is. It breaks down each section. See, other costs is like super small. We have a lot of profit here, our labor costs, those things in green, those are what we're actually actually making. So that's awesome. Look how much that is compared to these little sections over here. These are our fees taking out and all of those other things, um, the cost in our business. Now if we go down here to website price, it's going to be different because again, we added that shipping um, in there. So this would be with free shipping because we added that expense in there. Let's say we want to do a 100% markup let's just be like okay let's you know charge a lot more we'd be selling this little bee for seventeen dollars and four cents and we'd actually be making fourteen dollars and two cents every time it sells so super awesome we get to play around and see how it breaks down here in our little chart um again i think we could actually probably get away yeah i think we could actually get away with a little bit more of a markup for this B because I've been selling it for $12. So that is a 40% markup. That's super awesome. That means every time it sells, I'm making $9.06. So that is super awesome because again, this is not only going to be profit for me, but this will cover some of those other expenses in my business as well. Like if I grabbed lunch that day and all the things, this is what my prices are looking like at the moment. I absolutely love how it breaks it down over here. This part is super helpful, how it actually breaks it down. Let's actually zoom in a little bit here. So it actually breaks down the percentage of what your costs and profit breakdowns look like. Uh, these green sections, this is all money we're making, which is super awesome. This is the additional profit, but this is what we're making for our time. That's super great. Now, uh, the material costs are very low, packaging costs, card fees, those are all very low, um, which is super great, which means this is all money that we're actually promoting in our handmade business. And just to be completely transparent, I may even have to raise my price a little bit more than $12 because they sold so well at my last market. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. You can go and adjust your prices from here and let's try marking up by 60% and that's almost 14. I probably could get away with charging 14 for these little guys. They would probably still sell. And again, I would be making more money for my time and more money in my business. Also cover all those additional costs. So that's something to really keep 
in mind as you're going through and pricing your products as well. Now there is an additional place where you can play around with discounts on your products as well. So this is going to help you just determine if you could mark something down in a market or online. So this is a section that um, you can definitely play around with. And then we can also play around with adding sales tax. Now, uh, this is what it's going to show you. Like if you had 10% well, actually ours is like 9% sales tax. It's going to add that in over here. It's not going to take out of your profit, but it will add to your selling price. So what you can do is you can add the 9% here and that tax is $1.23. And if you include it in your cash prices, then you would be charging, you round up and charge $15. And that would make sure that that tax is included in that price. So that's also something else to keep in mind. And we can play around here going like this, all the things, just changing things around. A lot of fun to play around with this thing. And you can get really like into it and really detailed with it, or you can use it pretty, pretty simplistic, which I really love. You have the opportunity to grow with this calculator. So if you just want to get started with like material costs, craft show costs and labor costs and not even deal with the markup or the discount or the sales tax or any of that yet, that's totally fine. You can start there. And then as you grow in your business, you can start incorporating some of these more advanced techniques, or maybe you're ready to start making more profits immediately. And you're like, I need to play around with this markup setting. Then it's here for you. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm actually going to delete these parts. So I'm going to do 30, which is about $11 is what I'll just pretend that we're going to charge for this B. And now we can go over and do some competitor research now. So I went to Etsy and I looked up crochet B. Now, when you're looking for competitor prices, make sure you're not looking at the patterns like right here, it's a crochet pattern. So obviously it's going to be way cheaper than the final product. And also this one is way bigger than the B I'm selling. Oh my gosh, that's super cute. But, um, I'm going to just scroll through here. This looks like, oh, see, I'm like, this looks more like what I'm selling, but pattern. So we want to make sure that we're looking for the actual finished B. This looks like a classic B. It's 1530. That's about ish the size that I'm selling at. So what I can do is I can be like, okay, well, that's pretty similar to what I'm selling. I'm going to copy how much it was and paste it over here. So you can also paste a URL here. So if you want to refer back to it um, for whatever reason and be like, oh wait, what did that look like again? You always can. Oh, this one looks kind of similar. This one's velvet, but again, it's similar size-ish to what I'm doing. So let's do that one too. So we'll just say B, velvet B. I think this one was like cotton. So over here, we can put an additional note. So on Etsy, sometimes too, you need to go down here and be like, okay, it's also $4.31 to ship. Okay. And then it's 15% off right now. They're actually charging for 18, but sometimes Etsy, they like always have a sale. So it's hard to tell there, but let's just say this is 15% off. It's just good to know. Um, it's regularly, um, 18. So that is something good to know. We can just write in the notes category. This velvet bee, let's see if there's anything particular we want to know about this. This one's like a little bit bigger actually. Oh, and this one's on sale too. So this one's also 15, no, wait, where is it? <laughs> this is 5% off. So it's usually a little bit more. It's usually 13.25. So what we can do is we can go back here and say, this is 5% off and it's usually 13.25. Um, so you can do a lot more competitor research than just that. Um, I just did a really simple basic search on Etsy, but I can go even deeper. So what I ended up doing actually is I noticed that this was free shipping. So I subtracted $4 because that's what this first person was charging for their shipping. So I'm just going to assume that that's about how much it is to ship or at least how much they're like charging to ship the other person is. So I'm just taking that off of this one so that these are without the shipping costs. So that's how I'm going to determine the competitor research price free shipping. So they're additionally doing shipping on top of that. Just try to stay con consistent here. Um, it is a little bit tricky on Etsy, but if you do markets too and see prices, you can always add those here too. Like I've seen the bees being sold at markets. Um, and we can just say saw at a market, um, sold really well and it sold well for 15. So we can just 
add all that in. And then what I want to show you is when we go back over to the calculator section, there it is. It's giving you a competitor average. And look at that. It's actually pretty close to what we have. And when you look at your competitor average, sometimes you can be like, you know what? Mine could be a little bit more. So maybe I do actually want to mark it up 50%. Oh, look at that. So my price is really competitive and I'm making more for my time. Now, the other thing that could happen is maybe you're charging like way more for this product and you're like, okay, I'm selling it for $17 and you go up and you're like, okay, well, it's selling mostly for like $13. So I don't know, maybe I should mark it down a bit more or figure out some ways to cut material costs or cut labor costs or all the other costs that we have down here. If we can cut some of those, then we can be a little bit more competitive. It's really nice to have that competitive price right here so you can refer to it and make sure that you're staying competitive. So let's just say, okay, well, we can mark it up a bit more now. So the competitor average feature in the competitor research page is so, so helpful. This is how you're gonna make sure that your products are actually in a good price range to sell. So again, you can go down and just keep going and add as many as you want and get like a better average. I only added a couple, but again, you can add a ton more here. So I'm gonna go down to the product log section and this is where we can actually add the product that we just priced. So what I want to do is go over to my calculator and you can click in a cell and copy it. Whoops, oopsie daisy. So I'm gonna go like this and copy it over. So the item name was B, it was the SKU number was number 116. Total time, so it took us 25 minutes to make this. So labor earnings is going to be how much you're making per hour for your labor. So we were making $15 an hour. So I'm going to go back over here, 15 online profit. So let's go over here and see how much we're making. It would be 1142 for the online profit. 11 free to craft show profit go back over here that's this price here nine dollars and 89 cents i keep going to the wrong page nine dollars and 89 cents online selling price this is how much we want to actually sell it for and that is uh 23 23 23 23 and then craft show selling price that is gonna be $12.78, $12.78. Now we can go over here and say, don't discount more than $5 off. Um, Then we can say like other things that we want to remember. We could be like, okay, this is with shipping included online price. This is another great place to stay super organized. So we could do it. The description would be like Bernat's blankets. We can write how much we get it for. I cannot type right now. Um, and that's like $11.99, let's say. And then we get 300 grams. So that's what you would do with quantity. Now, if it was something like tags and we're spending $80 and the quantity would be how many tags were actually in there. So that'd be like 500. And we can say, we got these from Vistaprint. This yarn was from Joann's. So you can also write any additional notes here. Like you could be like, order on Black Friday next sale coming up or, you know, whatever. Or be like, better price at Joann's with pick up, pick up in person coupon. Um get you know whatever whatever notes you need to write yourself get here not online or something i don't know so whatever it is like the best place you can find it whatever notes you need to take on those actual materials this is a great place to keep all of those really nice because when you're actually pricing on your calculator you could be like okay like yeah, there was like Bernat blankets, you like fill that in. And then you're like, okay, how much do I usually spend on that? You can just like refer back to it really quick and be like, okay, yeah, it's $11.99. Perfect. I don't have to like go back and 
you know, search for that all over again or figure out what I paid because it's all in the same place. And then with quantity, you can be like, how many grams are actually in there? Okay, it's right there, I, I, I know. So that way you don't have to memorize all the materials you get and how much it comes with everything and all the things. So it's actually really great to have all that in one place. You just feel so much more organized. So that part is super awesome. So if we go here and say we just needed like 10 more or whatever, whoops. 10 more, it'll calculate it for us, everything changes. So super awesome, I just cannot wait for you to try out the calculator. Again, I added a lot of options for you on here so that you have the opportunity to price as strategically and specific as you want. But again, if you're just getting started, this thing is so awesome and so great to play around with your labor costs even. Even if you don't wanna apply additional markup, but be like, ah, uh, I don't know, maybe I could try making $20 an hour for my time on this project and see how that affects your price, even if we don't apply a markup at all. So that is something to keep in mind as well. This calculator is for you for any place you are at in your handmade business journey. It's gonna help you when you're first getting started, coming up with prices, when you're adjusting prices in the future. It's gonna help you just feel so much more confident and know that you're actually making enough for your time. It's super fun seeing all the price breakdowns as well and knowing that you're actually making money. Super great feeling. I do tend to undersell ourselves as handmade business owners, so I'm hoping this calculator will prove to you that you can come up with fair prices and actually make great profits. There are are some techniques and some things that are going to help you, you know, cut costs in your business, you know, and you can play around with that. Maybe like getting this Bernat blanket on sale for $7.99 is something that you can do to cut those costs a little bit. And that's going to reflect to your customer's price as well. So it really depends on what your goals are in your business, whatever the next amazing thing you're doing in your handmade business. I know that this calculator is going to help you so, so much. So I can't wait for you to try it out. If you haven't bought it already, again, I will link it down below and ah, I just uh, can't wait for you. This thing has changed the way I do my business and I can't wait for it to help you as well. My beta testers have all been just raving about it. It's helping them save so much time coming up with prices. It's also helping them feel way more confident. And some people are like, oh my gosh, I was definitely not charging enough or I thought I was making more on certain items and I definitely wasn't. So it's nice to actually know so I can adjust from there. And I think that's the best part about this calculator is there's nothing left to the imagination anymore. There's not like, oh, I think I'm making enough for my time. It tells you, it's very honest with you. And it's really, really great to know so that you can tweak things and move forward, making more money in your handmade business. So thank you so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I am going to send you to a video where I actually use this calculator and show you how I price chickens in a past market prep vlog that I did. So if you want to check out that video next, I think you're going to really like it. And I will see you, my friends, in this video right here. Bye.